What is going on guys and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. So today we're going to go ahead and go over two new cards that we got in. We have, have actually moved stuff around. We cleared a bunch of stuff out of the way here. We're working on cleaning up our basement here. Um, so we kind of moved everything over here. Nice little dedicated area. We got the monitor up on a monitor mount there, which is cool. Uh, so we talked about in the past videos, uh, we have an unraid box here three UPSs. It's actually on the server riser here, just in case we had, had water damage. Not that I've ever had that here. Uh, this is our gaming rig. Uh, it's a uh, Ryzen 9 3900X uh, with a EVGA 2080 Super XC in it. So nice beefy setup uh, for our streaming setup here. Um, so we went ahead and moved everything over here up out of the way. Um, dude, this thing has been cranking out heat, which is crazy. Um, and then in addition to that, we're currently mining, as of today, um, Ravencoin on Kapow. And uh, we're right around, actually, the 80, uh, about 80 ha uh, uh, mega hash. Um, trying to see here. Yep, we're right around 80 mega hash right now, which has been great. Uh, we're, you know, it's always nice to jump into your wallet and see a ton more in there, um, which is always exciting. So the, the rig's been doing really well. We're about 65C is where we've set our target rates for uh, the auto fan right now. And we've just left this thing up and just let it do its thing. The one card, I think it's this one down here, uh, is still, we have to clock it a little bit lower than the other ones or else we start to get a bunch of issues. Look at this. So I touched the one GPU. That GPU I touched, look at this. Have you guys seen this issue? This just started, like, I, I've never seen this before. Watchdog GPU, temperature 511C is over limit stopping gp work like and now look my whole rig just shut down like i'm not lying to you this is like this is, has it this thing has been running for like a week i've had no issues at all i walked up and touched the top of the top of the card right here and the whole thing just bam you know what i mean look at that i touched it again and it like what is that what is the deal with like i'm touching the hardware i'm not sending a shock through it um, I'm not adding additional heat to it, but as soon as I touched it, bam, it goes ahead and causes the entire system to throw a temperature 511C and just reboots. Like, what are the chances? So anyways, we'll let this reboot. I swear to you, like, I did, I did not expect that to happen at all. Like, I did not expect it to happen at all. All right, so we got, um, a new card in today. Um, this one, this card we got in originally, if you guys remember the original videos that we did. Um, so this card, we're just kind of hanging tight until we can, I want to put a second open airframe. Um, you can get them. I was looking, I, what is it called? Like a, a strand or something like that is the name of the brand. They're only like 30, 40 bucks max for another frame and you can stack them on top. There's actually like these little like rivets here that you can do. So I want to get a second one, stack it on top. Um, I do want to kind of look this weekend about this power supply distribution, but then we could go ahead and utilize these different uh, PCIe slots. So I want to put a second one on top and then swing the monitor over here. But I'm going to do it sooner than later because I got two cards now and I need a place to mine them. So um, I have this one uh, from, as you guys know, when we first went ahead and uh like we had this one for the first like week or two uh as we literally got one card before we got a hold of all six of these um so this is the um this is the msi uh what is this the 970 four gigabyte card um that we have here and this one we've had for a little while now so let's go ahead and check out what else we had purchased here for a card um, so a funny story around this card, this, I, I ordered, so I got this off offers up a month ago and it just arrived today. It was on offers up and I picked it up and the guy shipped it like two days later, but it got to North Carolina. It was like distribution center for United States postal service. And it didn't move from there. There was no update. It just said it was running late. 15 days later, I was about to open a case with offers up and it just bam popped up and was like in Philly all of a sudden. Um, so I don't know why it sat there for 15 days. It's like, it like, it like fell behind a, a bunch of boxes or something like that. Um, but let's go ahead and pull this out here. Um, 
I have not opened the card yet, but I did make sure like the box wasn't destroyed. Um, so I'm like one step ahead here. Okay. So let's see what we got. Ooh, fancy box. Okay, so let's take a look. So this is a different MSI model, um, but this is, trying to do this one-handed, it's so much more work. Oh, nice, you still have like all the plugs for it in there and everything. So this, wow, this crinkling is terrible. Let me take this out real quick, sorry. Alrighty, so we got it. So this is the uh, MSI uh, four gigabyte card, very similar to that other one, but this is the o overclock version of it. Um, so, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm like killing your ears. So if I go over here, pull out this other one. Let's take a look here. Trying to do this one handed is impossible. I need like a chest mount, I swear. All right, so there's the difference between the two cards there. Uh, this one is like the dra like this one has a name to it. Um, let's see here. What's the name on this one here? So this has, okay, so this is the GTX 970 Gaming 4G. Okay. So then this one is the GTX 970 uh, 4DG or GD570C overclock. So there's a little bit of a difference between the two of these here, but I'm not really sure. Let's fix that focus. I'm not sure, really sure what I want to go ahead and uh, mine with these yet. Uh, if you guys have any recommendations, uh, it looks like it needs to be cleaned out a little bit. It is used. Um, if you guys have any recommendations as to what you recommend that I mine with these, let me know. These aren't high performing cards or anything like that. Um, I do, I do recognize that. I do recognize I'm not going to, oh my God. Okay, fine. Stay there. Uh, I do recognize that I'm not going to get a ton of mega hash out of these. Um, you know, I, my guess is if I go over like right now, these are the four seventies that I'm running right now and I get right around 13 each. So if I can accomplish that with these. I'll be happy about that. Uh, but other than that, guys, in the next video, uh, I did also get in this box here, uh, we have a um, kilowatt meter to go ahead and start to see what type of wattage we're putting out on these. Um, so we'll have to check that out. I think right now in the GPUs alone, we're about 750. We're not underclocking at all. Uh, at the current moment. We're just trying to get the most amount of coin possible as a fun little hobby. Uh, but I am curious, and I do want to hook it up because we've had all different types of weird power issues recently, like uh, down here with, I have all of this stuff. I got like light set up, um, you know, the, the Unraid server, UPSs, this PC all running off of one circuit. And then this setup is actually run all the way over to there to the hot water heater. Uh, and running off of that one as well to separate the two. So I want to start to monitor that a little bit more. Um, you know, I always hear these horror, horror stories on fires and stuff. So want to definitely monitor that. So we're going to go ahead and mess with that in our next video, the kilowatt. Um, we have a little bit better power strip here I want to put in place. And then I do have a UPS that I want to add in place as well, just to protect this guy and put it in place. I, I'm a, you know, as you can see, we have three UPSs right here for this setup. Um, so I definitely want to get a UPS on this setup here. Just something. Something's better than nothing. Other than that, guys, thank you guys very much for joining me today. Uh, don't forget to go ahead and smash that subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, as bumpy as it was with the camera work, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time.